The real reasons why you're poor, and it's not your fault. What if I told you that being poor is not your fault? Yep, you heard that right. In this video, we're going to explore the real reasons why you might be struggling financially, and why it's not entirely your fault. Now, I know this might sound controversial, but hear me out. We're going to dive deeper and explore the real reasons why poverty exists in our society. Let's start with the first reason why you might be poor. The system. Our current economic system is designed to benefit the wealthy, not the poor. The rich get richer while the poor struggle to make ends meet. It's not a level playing field, and that's a fact. The system is rigged against those who are at the bottom of the economic ladder, and it can be difficult to break free from that cycle. This is not to say that personal responsibility isn't important, but it's important to acknowledge the impact of the system on our financial well-being. The second reason you might be poor is because of your upbringing. If you grew up in poverty or in a disadvantaged community, then it's going to be harder for you to break free from that cycle. The opportunities that are available to you are limited, and the odds are stacked against you. You might not have had access to quality education, healthcare, or job opportunities. These factors can make it difficult for you to achieve financial success. Your upbringing can have a significant impact on your financial situation, and it's not entirely your fault. The third reason why you might be poor is because of discrimination. This is a controversial topic, but it's a reality. If you belong to a marginalized community or if you're a person of color, then you're more likely to face discrimination in the workplace or in society in general. This can make it harder for you to achieve financial success. You might be paid less than your counterparts, or you might be passed over for job opportunities because of your race, gender, or sexual orientation. Discrimination can have a significant impact on your financial situation, and it's not your fault. The fourth reason why you might be poor is because of the debt trap. Many people are struggling financially because they're trapped in a cycle of debt. They're constantly trying to pay off loans, credit card bills, or medical expenses. This can be a never-ending cycle that's hard to break free from. Debt can accumulate quickly, and it can be difficult to pay off. This is not entirely your fault, as many people are forced to take out loans or use credit cards to cover basic living expenses. The debt trap can have a significant impact on your financial situation, and it's not entirely your fault. The fifth reason why you might be poor is because of the lack of access to resources. Many people who are struggling financially don't have access to the resources that could help them break free from the cycle of poverty. This could include things like financial education, job training programs, or affordable housing. Without access to these resources, it can be difficult to achieve financial success. This is not entirely your fault, as many people don't have access to these resources due to the systemic issues. In conclusion, my friend, being poor is not your fault. It's not just about your income or how you spend your money. There are many factors that contribute to poverty, such as societal pressures, systemic issues, and lack of education on personal finance. But here's the thing. You can take control of your financial situation. It's possible to break free from poverty and live a life of financial freedom. All it takes is educating yourself, building good money habits, and surrounding yourself with supportive people. And let me tell you, it's not an easy journey. There will be setbacks, challenges, and moments of doubt. But with perseverance, patience, and a positive mindset, you can achieve your financial goals. So start today, my friend. Surround yourself with people who share your values. Practice gratitude and positive thinking. And take small steps towards financial stability. Remember, you're not alone, and there are resources and support available to help you along the way. In the end, don't give up on your dreams of financial freedom. Keep pushing forward and you'll get there. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.